Hello everyone and welcome to the Wachovia Centre in Philadelphia. This is game four of Group A in round one of the 2009-2010 NBA tournament. Both teams are 1-0, and so somebody's going to remain unbeaten at the end of this game. And as you can see, Trailblazers lead 92 points to 90 as we start the fourth period. The lineup for Portland on court at the moment is Lamarcus Aldridge, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Cambry, Andre Miller, and Brendan Brandon Roy, who are the actual starting lineup at the start of the game. For Philadelphia, Elton Brand, Andre Iguadala, Maurice Spates, Drew Holiday, and Alan Iverson and their starters that are currently not on the court are Lewis Williams and Samuel D'Alembert who are currently on their rest they still have to rest Portland still have to rest Lamarcus Aldridge and if I just show you my score sheet I've actually added timeouts in here because I found out that timeouts are quite important you, if you've got one left and you have control after the last card of the fourth period you can call a timeout and get a half court um, play and you could tie or win the game right at the end so that may happen with the score at this moment in time so let's go over to the court and Philadelphia will have the ball as they won the original tip off so the ball is handed over and it ends up with the point guard Drew Holiday 2-5-1 so Holiday is going to miss that shot and the rebound is going to be the defensive small forward or the defensive point guard so it's going to end up with the defensive small forward Nicholas Batum his third defensive rebound of the game Coach's choice one to three and we've got two players with one so it's going to end up with Brendan Roy Brandon Roy one five and he drains the basket and gives Portland a four point lead point guard seven Andre Miller gets the assist and that's his seventh assist of the game we have a coach's choice and that is going to be with Andre Iguadala for Philadelphia. 2-5, so Iguadala misses. And the rebound will go to the centre. Sorry, it's going to be the small forward plus this. 2, so offensive small forward plus 2 gives him a 7. Defensive small forward 10, so Nicholas Batum picks up his fourth defensive rebound. Fourth quarter coach's choice. And that is going to be picked up by Brandon Roy. Four five. And Brandon Roy drains the basket again. Trailblazers lead by six. Andre Miller gets another deep gets another assist. His eighth of the game so far. And we're down at eleven minutes remaining in this game. Coach's choice one, so there's two, there's three. Three players on one, so it's going to end up with Maurice Spates for Philadelphia. 4-4, four, four, and it's going to be an offensive foul. So not a team foul, but Maurice Spates will collect a turnover for that and give the ball over to Portland. 
leading 96 to 90. Coach's choice one. So the ball ends up with Andre Miller and the fast break situation for these two teams. Um, you're not going to see a lot of fast breaks because Portland are double red and Philadelphia are red so you get no fast breaks off any steals. So Andre Miller then. 4-6 it's going to pass and again we get another coach's choice and the ball will end up with Brandon Roy 4-4 four, four. and he turns the ball over first turnover of the game and Philadelphia coming up the court fourth quarter coach's choice three of them so that's going to end up with Maurice Spates again 6-4 is he fouled no he isn't so it's a going to look for a pass and again it's going to be a coach's choice and the ball will come back round to Maurice Spates 6-2, F2 question mark 6, so he's going to be fouled. Is he going to be fouled? No, he's not. Good defence by Cambry, so Spate shoots and misses. And the rebound is the offensive small forward, who's a 5, against the defensive small forward, Nicholas Batum, who's a 10. So Batum gets his fifth defensive rebound. And we're now down to 10 minutes, and... Portland will call their fourth time out. Because they need to get Aldridge off to do his three minutes rest before six minutes. Otherwise he'd be tired. And Rudy Fernandez comes in to take that spot. Sam Dellenbert will be substituted in for Portland. And so for Philadelphia so Portland will take the ball on the sideline and it will end up with power forward Rudy Fernandez 2-3 and he can take a three-pointer if he wishes and he does so 32 plus 2 so 34 is good but he misses Rudy Fernandez misses a three and the defensive shooting guard Alan Iverson will pick up the defensive rebound. 96 to 90. Philadelphia not scored in this period yet. Coach's choice one, and we only have two this time because one of them has gone off. And so Iverson will have the ball. Philadelphia 6 1, F2 question mark. So Brandon Roy does some good defense. Iverson shoots and misses. And offensive power forward is a 10. Defensive power forward is an 8. So it's an offensive rebound for Eldon Brand. And number 6 is above the 5. There's a little raised 5 here by the offensive number. And if he wins the offensive rebound and the blue dice is bigger than the 5, which it is, a 6. That means he's fouled in the act of shooting. So Rudy Fernandez will pick up. Personal foul, it'll be the first one of the period, but Brand will go to the free throw line, 53 or less, raise three if it is 53, and we've got a treble one, so we've got a rare play on a free throw. So let's have a look for that. Rare play on a made free throw because it's a one. So the we've 
So it's going to be a made free throw. Let's see what the rare play is. 62. Free throw good. So Elton Brand gets the free throw, making him 4 of 4. If last of the series it is not. Offensive player bats away the ball and it comes blah 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 blah. So there's nothing because it's the first of the series. So he goes to the second, goes to the line for his second. And he nails the second one too. So he's five of five from the free throw line. First points on the board in this period for Philadelphia. And Portland have the ball. Coach's choice two, there isn't a two, so it's going to be a one. Got to decide which one. And that's going to be Brandon Roy has the ball. One three is going to be two question mark and a one. It is less than a one. So the shot is good. Brandon Roy is third basket of this final period. And is there an assist? Power forward seven? No. So the ball is with Philadelphia and it's over with Elton Brand. 6-1, it's going to pass. It's going to come over to the small forward, Andre Aguardala. Wish they called him Smith. And he's going to be fouled by Nicholas Batum. Batum's second, the Trailblazers second of this period and Iguodala will go to the line he's a 53-2 so first one is good first free throw of the game and he nails it he's at the line ready to take his second one and that is also good so four of four from the free throw line they just need to start getting some Shots from out off court. So Lewis Williams is back and available and we'll have to obviously wait because Portland have the ball and it is with the coach's choice. And that will be Nicholas Batu. 4-4. He's going to get a three-point attempt, so he's a 33, will become a 35, and he'll get that easily. So Nicholas Batum drains the three, that's four threes, four successful three-pointers in four attempts. 101 to 94, and Marcus Cambry will get the assist off that, fourth one of the game. And the Sixers will call their fifth timeout. And Lewis Williams will come back on the court. Elton Brand will go off. He's played really well today, Brand. But obviously time for the big guns to come back on. And the ball is a coach's choice in the fourth quarter. So it's going to be with Lewis Williams. Four four, and he's going to turn the ball over. That's <laughs> comes back on the court, and the first thing he does is give it away to Portland, one hundred one to ninety four, and that's going to be with the shooting guard Brandon Roy. One one four, so it's a check against the centre Sam Dellenberg. Great defence, so Roy misses first miss of this period, and the defensive centre Sam Dellenberg gets his eighth defensive rebound and as I was saying he can actually may he may go for a break fast break but he doesn't it's off the card so he can try but if it was off the steal off a card then he can't because the neither of them are yellow so the ball ends up with the shooting guard Alan Iverson and it's 3-4 so it's a normal play rare play 
So possession rare play, let's see what the result of this one's going to be. 11. Offensive player with ball charged with a five second backing in violation below the foul line. Blue die determines the player to so it's the shooting guard, so Alan Iverson turns the ball over, backing in. And Portland have the ball. Go to three, we don't have a three, so two, we don't have a two, so it's going to be a one. And that's going to be Andre Miller. So Miller has the ball for Portland. Three, six, six, so it's even, so Miller misses the shot. And the rebound is the small forward plus three, which is nine against the power forward on the defense. Seven, so Batum gets the offensive rebound. It doesn't have a raised number, so it can't be it can't be fouled. Roll one dice to decide who has the ball. And that's going to be Marcus Cambry for Portland. 101-94. and Cambry gets only his second basket of the game in four shots and the point guard Andre Miller picks up his ninth assist 103-94 nine point lead so Philly need to start doing something about this eight minutes remaining and the ball is with the power forward Lewis Williams Philadelphia 5-4 P3 is so he can go for a three pointer if he, if he wishes and he doesn't so he's going to pass and pass it over to D'Alembert 6-2 he's going to pass and he's going to end up with Drew Holiday 1-4 to question mark 1 it's below so Drew Holiday gets the 2 that's the first court, open court shot in this period that they've scored from and the power forward Lewis Williams will get the assist that's his 7th assist of the game coach's choice 3 no 2 no 4 yeah we've got a 4 Rudy Fernandez has the ball for Portland. 1-1-4. One, one, D'Alembert, good block. And so Fernandez has shot. Misses. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to be an offensive team rebound for Portland. Because all home court advantages is the visitor so Portland have the ball comes over to small forward Nicholas Batum looking to set up another offensive possession for Portland 5-2 is going to pass seven minutes remaining and they call a timeout that's the fifth timeout for Portland and Aldridge will be brought back on for Portland Roger Carney is available for Philadelphia but there's still plenty of time before they need to worry about hitting threes so the ball with Portland and it's going to be with Andre Miller 103 to 96 65 f1 asterisk so it's going to be fouled by point guard drew holiday picking up his fourth personal foul in this game so sideline ball and the ball ends up with lamarcus aldridge 6 4 F1 question mark 3 so it's above so he's not fouled and so Aldridge continues and passes over to Andre Miller so we're going to have 
a possible block by Lewis Williams two and it's below so the block is unsuccessful and Andre Miller gets the two points 105.96 small forward Batum gets the assist and that's his first of the game so Philadelphia with Alan Iverson coming up the court 1-1-2 so that is going to be a successful shot from Iverson Iverson nails the two keeps the game within seven point guard does not get an assist and the ball is going to end up with Nicholas Batum 1-2-1 one, one, three point attempt and so he's going to look for the three he's a 33 becomes a 35 and he drains the three Batum gets his second three of this period One oh eight, ninety eight. 98 shooting guard Brandon Roy does not get an assist and we just had a timeout called by the officials to check the scoreboard and it's actually 108 100 so Sam D'Alembert we've got a coach's choice it's going to be with Juru Holiday Sixty-one is a three-point attempt, and they will attempt it. So thirty-two doesn't get it. So Drew Holiday misses the three, and offensive small forward. If he is an eight, and he isn't, otherwise the defensive small forward. So Nicholas Batum gets the defensive rebound, and Portland. Now with six minutes remaining, coming up the field, and the ball is with Lamarcus Aldridge. One six and a good basket for Aldridge keeps that clock ticking over, and a ten point lead assisted. Did the power, power guy get assist? Andre Miller gets the assist, his tenth of the game. Philadelphia trying to cut this gap. And it's with Drew Holiday. 2 3, and he gets the 2. Does the shooting guard get an assist? He does. Alan Iverson gets the assist, and that is his 7th of the game. 101 110 to 102. And shooting guard Brandon Roy has the ball for Portland. 5-3 it's a pass he's going to pass this over to the power forward the Marcus Aldridge and he's going to take a shot 46-5 and it's a good shot Aldridge gets the two Brandon Roy gets the assist and the difference is again back up to 12 to 10 coach's choice go to four we've got a four so Drew Holiday has the ball for Philadelphia 1-4 and Holiday gets the 2 again bringing it back to 8 they can't seem to get it any closer than that at the moment point guard shooting guard gets the assist Alan Iverson 8th assist of the game and the ball is with Portland and Nicholas Batum 4-3 turns the ball over first turnover of the game from Batum and we're down to the last five minutes of this game Philadelphia have it with Drew Holiday 6-4 and he is fouled by Andre Miller in the act of shooting so Holiday will go to the line 54 or less 51 is a good 
free throw, his first one of the game. Standing for the second one, he lets it go and he nails the second one too. It's been the one thing about this game is that the accuracy of the free throws and that could be the difference at the end of this if if they can pull this back six point difference now coach's choice goes to three no four no so it's going to be the ones sorry two it's going to be marcus aldridge let's start off where it's supposed to aldridge has it four two and he's going to turn the ball over got to be a bit more careful of protecting this ball philadelphia are not out of this and it comes down to shooting guard Alan Iverson. 3-2. It's going to be checked against the power forward. And it's going to be lower. So Aldridge cannot stop Iverson's shot. And so another two. 1-1-2, one, 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 And the small forward Iguodala gets the assist on that play Portland have it with Marcus Cambry just a four point difference 1-6 and Marcus Cambry misses his shot and it's going to be the offensive power forward plus 6 that's a good number for them 16 against the defensive power forward so he's not going to win that LaMarcus Aldridge gets the offensive rebound and his number is a five and it is a five so there's not going to be any foul Cambry has the ball for Portland 3-3 three, three, and he's going to look to pass down to the last four minutes of the game coach's choice one so the pass will end up with Brandon Roy 1-5 and Roy gets the two Gets the bucket, 114, 106. And Andre Miller will get an assist. That's his 11th assist of this game. Philadelphia with the ball and it is with the centre Sam D'Alembert. 1, 2, and a 4, so it's above. So the shot is missed. Great defence by Cambridge. D'Alembert misses the shot. And D'Alembert is going to lose out to Cambry on the rebound. Portland take the ball again. And it's with the small forward Nicholas Batum. 2-3 and Batum can go for a three-pointer if he wishes and he doesn't he'll just take the two being big in this fourth period Cambry does not get an assist and the ball comes back to Philadelphia so we've got three players on one here and it's going to end up with Alan Iverson 6-1 FD question mark number is above and I don't think that's going to be a foul no great defense by Roy Iverson misses the shot so it's the offensive shooting guard plus two Iverson becomes a five against the small forward so Batum takes that ball and Portland have the ball and it's going to be with Batum 1-1-6 so good blocking there good defending by D'Alembert Batum misses the shot offensive centre Cambry gets the offensive rebound and he gets a column 2 shot and a possible foul so let's see what about the shot so Cam Cambry misses the shot and we're looking at the defensive center six column four and it's not higher 
So there is a foul. So D'Alembert fouls. And Cambry will go to the line. 45. If you're going to put somebody on, he's probably the one that you want to put on. Misses the first one. It's actually one for four from the free throw line. So again, he's there. And he misses that one as well. So he's missed both. And the rebound, 36. Defensive power forward or defensive centre. So it's going to be defensive centre. D'Alembert gets the defensive rebound. He's ninth of the game. And Philadelphia trailing by eight. Three minutes remaining in this game. Fourth quarter. Coach's choice. And so that's going to be D'Alembert. They need to start hitting some points. Two, two, five. And so D'Alembert gets the two. Lewis Williams gets the assist. That's his eighth. And the ball is going to come over to the shooting guard, Brandon Roy, for Portland. 6 5. He's going to be fouled. So Iverson fouls. His third. And the 76 is third. So the ball is at the sideline. Coach's choice. And that is going to end up with Brandon Roy. 3-3. Three, three. He's going to be two in the clutch. And it is in the clutch. So a clutch shot from Brandon Roy. Picks him up the two points. And small forward does not get a rebound. And... The seventh, the sixth timeout is going to be called by Philadelphia. So we'll be back in a moment after the timeout. So Philadelphia has brought off Lewis Williams, moved Andre Aguadola to the power forward and brought Rodney Carney in at small forward because he's he gets more chances at a three-pointer. So the point guard, Aguadola, has the ball. Three five is going to be a three point attempt, and they're definitely going to take this chance. Twenty six or less. Twenty six two. Twenty six two, and he's a twenty six one, so he misses the three. Unbelievable. Aguadala misses the three, and it comes back to the defensive sender Cambry, and he can take a fast break, and he will. So we're going to actually get a fast break in this. So Cambry looks for a fast break. So it's on a double red one. Possible fast break shot. If the blue dial, let's see who the player is. One is going to be the point guard. Andre Miller. If the blue die is higher than his or the point guard's fast break rating. And it's not going to be. So it's not. They're just going to set up and pass. Fourth quarter choice for the coach is three and that is going to be Nicholas Batum three two can it be blocked it can so Batum shoots but it is blocked by Rodney Carney and the result of the block So two. 53. Defensive point guard who is Drew Holiday. Snares the rebound in a battle with the offensive centre who throws elbow. Roll a die versus the offensive small forwards. So it wasn't Drew Holiday, it's the defensive guy who got the Let's have a look at this. Defensive point guard. Who is Drew Holiday? Battle with the offensive small forward. Roll the dice against the offensive small forwards. Flagrant foul. 
which is a 6 so it's not going to be lower than that so it's just going to continue the play the referees let them go at this stage of the game and we're going to have coach's choice one Alan Iverson's going to get the ball really need to make something of this 4-4 four, four is going to be a steal possibility and it's not going to be a steal so we're going to get to pass the ball again we're down to two minutes coach's choice one and it's going to be Iverson again 6-3 is going to be fouled by Brandon Roy first foul of the game by Roy but could be at an important time 55-3 for Iverson because he takes the first and gets the first one that's his first three free throw of the game so seven point difference another one could make it interesting and he gets the second one too one one eight one one two coach's choice two Lamarcus Aldridge has the ball for Portland holding on to this very narrow lead 3-2 is he blocked Three two is he blocked? No, he isn't. So Aldridge gets the basket. One twenty to one twelve. No assist on the play. And Philadelphia have the ball, and it's going to be with Andre Iguodala. Two one. He gets his basket. Point guard gets the assist. So Drew Holiday gets his eighth assist of the game. Ball in the hands of Portland's Andre Miller. 5 3 is a pass, and he's going to pass this to small forward Nicholas Batum for a two point shot. 55 and he gets it so Batum just pushes that lead out a little bit more Marcus Cambry gets the assist and Sam D'Alembert has it 6-5 F1 question mark 4 greater than so it's not going to be a foul and we're down to the last minute so they're going to set up for a three point shot here and it's going to be coach's choice two no so it's going to be a, a one and that's going to be Aguadola does he get a three point chance he does so his 26 becomes a 16 and Iguadala misses the shot the rebound offensive small forward is six defensive small forward Batum picks up that one easily and the ball is going to end up with the coach's choice and it's going to be the center Marcus Cambry 5-4 is going to be a pass they're just running this ball down it's going to end up with a small forward so Nicholas Batum has the ball is he going to get blocked? He is, so Batum shoots. And D'Alembert blocks the shot, his 10th defensive block, his, his second block, and 43 on the block shot chart. So the shooter, Batum, Shooter rebounds in lane and attempts shot as centre defends. If the blue die six is higher than the centre's column one, which it is, he is forced a missed shot. And it gets rebounded to the defensive power forward. So Batum takes a second shot and 
The rebound is picked up by Igor Dara. Coach's choice. And it's going to be Alan Iverson. Two four is going to miss. And that is going to be about the end of the game, I would imagine. It's a rare play. So we have a rare play on a rebound. Let's see what happens here. Two five. Goaltending called against the defense. So the basket is credited to Iverson. And will there be an assist? No. So I think they're going to try an intentional foul here. So let's go to the intentional foul chart. Sixty-six defensive point guard fouls offensive point guard in hard fashion. Offensive power forward rushes in and defends teammate and fight ensues between him and the defensive point guard. Both players are ejected. So let's get this down. Defensive point guard Drew Holiday gets the foul. Then the. Offensive power forward Lamarcus Aldridge is ejected for fightis, fighting. As is Drew Holiday. And the ball will end up with Portland so we'll be back shortly when when we've got the new chain new players onto the court so Willie Green has come on for Philadelphia and Joe Prisbilla has come on for Portland and the ball is with Prisbilla so he actually gets to participate in the game roll them again because the blue dice came in 4-2 and he's gonna possibly get the ball stolen and we're looking at point guard Willie Green the two guys that have come on so it's greater than the four so Prisbilla is only part of this game is to turn the ball over and Willie Green gets the steal coach's choice go to one so that's going to be Alan Iverson And really at this point he has to take a three-point shot it's ridiculous not to so he's going to go for a three and he's going to miss Iverson misses the three and comes back to the power forward so he's a six against the defensive center well that's all going to be Marcus Cambry all day long with a defensive rebound and that ball will then be sent out To coach's choice and it's going to be Brandon Roy and Brandon Roy 5-3 is going to look to pass and he's going to pass this to the point guard Andre Miller who will take a shot 35 to 45 because it's a P plus and he's, he misses it Andre Miller misses the shot the rebound offensive power forward plus six so that's 22 so it's going to be an offensive rebound by Prisbilla so he may actually do something else in this game and he's a five and it's a three so he's going to look to pass and the ball will be passed over to the center Marcus Cambry six six and he will get the basket and is he fouled? 
Yes, he is. So Sam Dellenberg will foul him in the act of shooting. So he'll go to the line. Marcus Cambry. And he shoots and he actually, and he actually makes his second free throw. And that will end the game. So what was looking like a close fought game at the start of this period with a 92-90 score turned into a bit of a rout really 125 to 116 but good finish we had a fight on the court so we got two people suspended for the next game for definite and let's check for any injuries I think we've only got one player yeah Martel Webster who's an A 25 on an A that could be close No, there's no injury, so there's no injuries in the game, but the two players, Drew Holiday and Lamarcus Aldridge, will miss the next game for fighting, so put them in my little envelope so that they're not in the team selection. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we'll be back shortly with and show you the um, box score of this game, but uh, until then... I uh, will see you very shortly. So at the end of the game, two ejections. The Marcus Aldridge from Portland and Drew Holiday for fighting. And that was to go with a technical foul against Nate McMillan, the Portland coach, earlier on in the game. No injuries, but a final score of... Portland 121, Philadelphia 76ers 116, so Portland after two rounds of games in round one of the tournament in group A will be top of the league with six points, Boston Celtics who are unbeaten at 1-0 are in second, Philadelphia in third at 1-1 one one with three points and then Minnesota Timberwolves and the New York Knicks make up the rest of that group um, you'll see that at the end of when I do the roundup of game set 2 in at the end of this series so the next game will be a group B game Indiana Pacers at Los Angeles Lakers may be taped may not be depending on how the um, how the game is at the start of the fourth period but I hope you've enjoyed it leave me a comment let me know um, as I said before, if anybody wants me to do a slower sort of tutorial, tutorial on how I play this, then leave me a comment. I'm quite happy to do it. Um, but until next time, Portland 125, Philadelphia 116. And until next game, good night.